the Central Bank of Nigeria is getting seriously worried about the size of the non-performing loans in the country's banking sector, and it has every reason to be. The size of bad debts of quite a number of banks is estimated to be 15 percent, three times the approved limit of 5 percent. Now, the Apex Bank wants the shareholders of the affected banks to bear the brunt. The move may be quite understandable. There's no way a bank that has high number of minimum should be able to continue to pay dividend because the reality is that the shareholders have to feel a pinch of such um, weak management, um, particularly because of the fact that non-performing loans lead to liquidity crisis. Liquidity crisis could lead to insolvency crisis. The central bank has so far not disclosed how many of the country's commercial lenders may have been affected by the size of their bad debts. But sources say the number could be more than five. Over a year ago, the central bank had to step in by injecting funds into one of the banks to save it from going bankrupt. There are several loans that went bad because the economy collapsed at some point. There are other factors that could lead to a number of million are issues of compromise in terms of the credit approval process, weak credit standards, failure of corporate governance. So the key things are we can try to address the aspects that, look, that are caused by failure of management, issue of failure of corporate governance, issue of weak credit culture. And then we should also now learn to deal with the issues that have to do with economic crisis. The size of the non-performing loans of quite a number of banks spiked when the country slipped into recession in 2016, with majority of them exposed to the oil industry. Now, the central bank has taken a raft of measures in the past to check the rising debts. It now remains to be seen how much impact this latest measure would have. Deji Badmos, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.